Air traffic controller daily job is challenging especially in the busiest airports. The air traffic controllers are responsible for providing clearances, assigning flight levels and providing other informations to all inbound flies to the airport. And as well as for the flights in the ground those are ready to departure. Most of the communications between the flight crew and ATC through voice radio, the pilots will tune to certain frequency to contact the controller to get the necessary clearances or information. But the major problem with the voice communication is, the pilots from different aircrafts tune the controller frequency at the same time which leads to frequency congestion. And also pilot may accidentally override others. This problem leads to incorrect information delivered to the aircraft. Or the controller needs to repeat the information which will increase their workload. Also, the flight traffic is increasing year on year, the number of pilots tuned to a particular station also increases. On March 27, 1977, two Boeing 747 passenger jets, KLM Flight 4805 and Pan Am Flight 1736, collided on the runway at Los Rodeos Airport on the Spanish island of Tenerife Canary Islands, killing 583 people on board. The major reason of the accident was communication misunderstanding between air traffic controller and the crew in the aircraft. Controller pilot data link communication also called a CPDLC is introduced to overcome this problem. CPDLC is an air to ground data link application and it enables the exchange of text messages between controllers and pilots which reduces the pilots and the air traffic controllers communication workload. CPDLC is used to exchange routine and non-time critical messages at strategic level between air crews and controllers. Using CPDLC, the controllers can issue ATC clearances like flight level assignments, lateral deviations or vectoring, speed assignments, radio frequency assignments, and various requests for information. The pilots are provided with the capability to respond to messages, to request or receive clearances and information, and to report information. A free text capability is also provided to exchange information not conforming to defined formats. Eurocontrol CPDLC operations supports different data link services. Data link initiation capability, DLIC. DLIC service provides the necessary information to make data link communications possible between an ATSU and aircraft. The DLIC service is executed prior to the first use of any other data link application. ATC Communications Management Service, ACM. ACM service provides automated assistance to flight crew and controllers for the transfer of ATC communication. ATC Clearances Service, ACL. ACL service allows flight crews and controllers to conduct operational exchanges, flight crews can send requests and reports, and controllers can issue clearances, instructions and notifications. ATC Microphone Check Service, AMC. AMC service allows controllers to send an instruction to all CPDLC capable aircraft on a given frequency, at the same time, to verify that their voice communication equipment is not blocking a given voice channel. Departure Clearance, DCL. DCL service provides automated assistance for requesting and delivering departure clearances to aircraft. Downstream Clearance Service, DSC. DSC service is provided for flight crews, who are required to request and obtain clearances from ATS units, that are not yet in control of the aircraft when they cannot get the clearance information via the current ATS unit through, unit-to-unit -unit coordination. CPDLC provides various benefits. Less communication on the ATC frequency increased sector capacities. More pilot requests can be dealt with simultaneously. Reduced probability of miscommunication. Safer frequency changes, hence fewer loss of communication events.